Hello everyone, and welcome back to Shelter 2. Here we are going to be playing one of the kittens that Snow had. All of them survived. So we have a lot of options, although I'm not going to pick Cloud. Just because I want to try out some other coat colors. I'm thinking between either Ash or Moon, just because I feel like they have a bit more unique like patterns. I think I'm going to go with Ash this time. Here we are. Okay, these definitely look different. Maybe not the coloring, but look at those patterns. Both the red and dark... What is that? Gray or black? I don't really know. The dark one, though, they have such cute patterns. The white and the light brown kind of look like they've always had. But I don't know. Okay, so we gotta figure out names. I got my list here. And I was already thinking about names. I think for this dark one, it's gonna be a boy. And I'm gonna name it Fang. It's gonna be a little feisty one. Okay. This one is gonna be a girl. And I'm going to name her Frost. The light brown one. The light brown one's also going to be a girl. And I'm going to name her... Meadow. And then the, the red one. I don't want to do like another... I don't know. I mean, I keep doing like like fire names. Well, I guess the first one we ever had was Fox, and then he died. And then we have Ash here, who lived. I don't want to keep doing like fire names just because it's red, though. But I don't think I have any others that really suit him. Okay, I'm going to name this one Kit, and it is a boy. So then we got Kit and Fang are boys, Meadow and Frost are girls. So let's go ahead and get started. She ventures into the vast open world, a land full of prey to feed her starving family, who are not yet strong enough to leave their warmth and shelter. <coughs> See, she is like a very nice red color, but being that it's winter, that's actually really subdued. And it actually just got me thinking that if when she's hungry, does she also get like faded like her kits do? I've never really like noticed before, but I think we're gonna like let her go a little hungry later to see if she actually gets 
less red. Also, if anybody has seen the last episode where we were in the tundra over there, it's called the tundra, I've been calling it winter, just even though it doesn't stay winter there all the time just because it has like a big snowflake on it, but it's actually called the tundra. And we found a polar bear over there, and then later on I found a cave full of bones where we picked up a skull. I thought it was a bear skull, but actually it was a tiger, and it looked to be like a saber-tooth tiger. Which got me thinking about a lot of things about what, like, era or whatever we're playing in. Are we, like, just coming out the Ice Age or something? Because we found a dead mammoth. And then we found a, a saber tooth skull, which if it was, you know, a long time ago, it would have been, you know, fossilized. We wouldn't be able to see it. So it's getting like a little confusing. I guess there was only one dead mammoth, so that could have been like the last of its kind. But I didn't think there were lynxes just yet. Or maybe they like existed side by side. I don't really know, but it's a bit odd. And I also thought it was the bear's cave, which it could have been. But I also read that a lot of people actually think it's the wolf's cave. Because the wolves only come out on the tundra besides them at the beginning. And so of course they need a place to stay. But I don't know. Basically, it's kind of all up in the air, and you just kind of make up your own theories about it. It's kind of whatever you want it to be. Personally, I think it was more likely to be the bear's cave, because I seriously doubt even wolves could take down a saber tooth, because these weren't no... I forgot what they call the, the prehistoric wolves that we used to have, where they were like giant... But these just look like regular old gray wolves or whatever, so I feel like they wouldn't be able to take down a saber tooth because those are pretty massive creatures. And it was probably more likely the bear. Although I didn't think polar bears existed like right outside of the Ice Age either. I don't know. And that also means that there could be humans as well, which I doubt they'd be in the game, but... Right now, humans are existing somewhere beyond the mountains, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, enough about theories. Now we have to decide where we're going, and it's going to be to the mountain area. The only place that we have yet to go. Which doesn't have wolves. I don't know if it has eagles and foxes, which are the other predators. I don't know if it could also have wildfires. I, I really have not looked up a bunch of stuff about that one, like I have the others. But I do know that it also does have bears, although they're not polar bears. They are grizzly bears, so that ought to be fun. <laughs> It's so weird though, because I already look like so much different than our little son there, Kit. He looks so much redder than I do. Oh, and I feel like Fang also looks a bit different than usual, than the usual color for that, for the dark gray slash black, whatever it's supposed to be. He looks like more of a very light gray, honestly.
We also have yet to run into any foxes either. Which I wanted to see if I could have any come out because we haven't yet seen any. I know they come out in this like foresty area. But I don't know if any will show up by the time we get to the mountain area. Come on. So even after eating and being kind of like really hungry, she didn't get like faded at all and she hasn't gotten any brighter since eating. So I guess the coloring thing that the kits have when they're hungry doesn't really affect her much. Or at all for that matter. I feel like Ash would be a very good hunter because Snow, her mother, taught her many things. It was very hard surviving in the tundra area, although they did have plenty of deer to eat, and that is what they mainly hunted. But they also hunted a lot of rabbit. And I feel like Ash would be a better hunter because of it. She's had a lot of experience watching her mama. And even Snow's kits, when they were grown, all of them were steadily catching rabbits when they were just literally walking by. <laughs> Very skilled hunters, I'd say. And hopefully Ash can pass that on to her kits as well. I don't know if this will be our last episode, since this will be the last area to explore on the map. I'm pretty sure anyway. I suppose we could always explore this area, but I can't imagine it would really have that much to really explore. But I don't know, I might do another episode following at least one more kit maybe. Personally, it would definitely be Fang, which, you know, I can't quite remember if Ash is a girl or a boy. I think I made her a girl, though. But Fang definitely isn't. But what we would probably do is just be like the mother of Fang's kits died because... Male lynxes don't raise the kits with the female. They kind of just like breed and then that's it and they go off on their own again. It's all up to the mother. And in the case the mother dies, usually they'd kind of just be on their own. But say Fang was very sentimental to his kits, didn't want them to just die. And so he will go and take over after the mother dies, sadly. <laughs> Maybe to the wolves at the beginning. Oh wait, no, she was still pregnant then. I don't know. Very soon after birth. Maybe in birth. I don't know. It's gonna be a devastating story. <laughs> okay. I think Fang and Meadow needed it. I think we're pretty good on hunting. I don't think you could really over hunt here, but... Well, I was trying to see if a fox would come out, but... It doesn't look like they are gonna. 
I don't know if they could still come in the, the mountain area, but I guess we will see. Maybe if we do do another episode with Fang after we're done with this one, maybe then we'll stick around this area a lot more to see if we can't get a fox to come out so we could have one of those in our episodes. Here we are in the mountain area. Let's go ahead and check out the map. Wow, so that is a lot of stuff. I think that in the middle is supposed to be water. And I really think food might be actually a little hard to find here. We might be struggling a bit more. Not only will it be like harder to catch, I feel like. There may not be as many rabbits. I don't know if there's deer too. I bet there is though. Okay. Kit and Meadow need to eat. Darn it, you fang. There. There's so many moles, though. I might end up hunting a lot of those if rabbits don't appear to be abundant, but so far, I think there are plenty. Okay, so it was a river in between there. Although I see a couple little islands in it, so I don't know, maybe we can cross it. There's also a waterfall. I suppose we'll go down and check it out. Places that look pretty cool on the map, too. There's something big over there. I wonder if it's the bear. But I can't really see. Because of all that grass and the rocks. And now it's gone. What? There it is. It's doing like creepy music because we were getting like, I guess a little close to it. It's like right where we need to go though. I thought I just saw it like running away or maybe walking away. There it is. You barely see it. Yikes. There are a lot of moles here though. I might just hunt those. I don't want to go too close to the bear. 
I really don't know how you're supposed to escape those, especially with, like, your kits and you can't run that fast. It looks like I could just go around, though. We'll probably get closer later on. Oh, look, and there's eggs, too. Good, because they were getting hungry. There's an owl up ahead as well that we can knock the eggs down from, and that is a bird too. Multiple birds. Wow, that's a lot of birds. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're not going to have a problem feeding our kits, but I am going to draw this episode to a close now. And on the next one, we will be fully exploring this mountainous area. So stick around, guys, and I will see you guys on the next one.